All right, guys, we were at the depot the last two live performances. Hit lows here. Now we're in 4K. All right, you guys want 4K? I'm going to give you 4K. All right, it's what it's about here, man. I'm playing around here. A lot of craftsmen. I mean, guys, I, I don't know. I don't know how this craftsman is doing. I have no idea. We're, we're into September here. And they must have 15 tractors left. Um, I don't know. You know, like I said, Home Depot stocks at an all-time high. Lows. These lows are empty, guys. I, I don't know if it's my area. Um, listen, for the people that... Some of the people, you know, think I'm... I'm just giving you my opinion about some of the stores and some of the prices that this store charges. Because compared to Depot, compared to Menards, compared to Harbor Freight, you know, whatever, you know, they're a little bit higher. But it's a great store. We need this store. Without Lowe's, forget it. Home Depot prices will be through the roof. But we all know they um, went over to Craftsman, right? They're the, you know, Stanley Black & Decker bought Craftsman the name uh, they play royalty to Sears still, but Lowe's is basically the major distributor of the Craftsman name, brand, and a lot of people are unhappy for because of the smaller footprint that Cobalt has now, um, but from what I've seen, guys, and again, this is, you know, just my local Lowe's stores, is they, they're not really doing, they, they, they can't move a lot of this Craftsman stuff. Um, I mean, look at look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eight, eighteen. And there's another five over here, guys. All right now, there's different models: T260, the T150, the T110. These are all T110s, and they are just loaded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 14, and we're into September, so I, I, I don't know, they want twelve ninety nine. I, I don't know if that's a deal, I don't know what they normally charge, I, you know, twelve ninety nine for a tractor, you know, I don't see a 42 inch, I, 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 you know, you gotta go with a zero turn, but I guess some people still like the tractors, I'm not really sure, but you know, $12.99, it sounds like a good price, all right, so if you're looking for a tractor, and um, maybe you can grab a 20% coupon if they let you use it, um, yeah, T110, now we're going to T150, why wow, the T150 is 11, so the T150 is less, that doesn't make sense, the T150 is cheaper than the T110, and they have 14 T110s. Now this is a 46 inch. This is a 42 inch. All right, 17 and a half horsepower. Let's see how many horsepower this sucker has here. And then we'll move on. I don't want to spend too much time with the tractors here. Hey, this is a 19 horsepower. All right, so it doesn't make sense to be honest with you, but whatever. I would go with the, you know, 46 inch, and it's $100 cheaper. I mean, that's a great price for a tractor. Uh, 19 horsepower. Looks like you can maybe put a little, yeah, you got a little hitch on here. And again, the tires are bigger. It looks like on the T2, uh, 150 over, yeah, and it's 100. I mean, you go crazy if you want a tractor. They got a zero turn here. Here you got a fabricated deck. You got the Kawasaki, you know, this is, this is a little expensive. There's other mowers I would recommend at this price point. But, I actually had one of these Husqvarna's. I had a 42 inch. And I liked it. It was alright. But, um, yeah, three grand. I would probably go with the Arians Icon here. Okay? Arians Icon. Personally, probably the Hustle Raptor. Also, John Deere. What do we got here? And a deer. I know we're trying to twenty. You know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you, 
You're looking at eleven $1 hundred dollars, man. Well, twelve hundred for some of these John Deere tractors, right? Fifteen ninety nine. You know, this has eighteen and a half horsepower. It's a forty two inch. The Craftsman is a forty six, just like it, and it has a little bit more horsepower, and it's four hundred dollars cheaper. So, not a bad deal on the um, Craftsman one fifty. Here, well, guess what we got here? More T10s. But I got a T130. Well, the T130 is the cheapest. All right. So this is basically the T130 is a 18 and a half horsepower. All right. So it's more than the 110. And it's $200 cheaper. So I, I don't get it. But yeah, what that, that you know, $1,100 for a tractor. Made in the U.S. with global materials. 42 inch. Again, I would go with a zero turn, but. And this is a Briggs engine. A little small little gas tank. But a lot of tractors here. Then they got the 210, the 260. And here's some Husqvarna. Here's some more zero turns. Here's the 48 inch for $100 less. No. All right, we spent a lot of time on this, guys. I do apologize. Maybe we'll put that on the other channel so we don't... But some good deals, all right? If you're looking for tractors at Lowe's, they want to probably get rid of them. All right, now I can't go live here because I don't get any reception. So I do apologize, okay? Understand? All right, here you got some gas cans, you got some blowers, 179. Maybe we'll check and see. Yeah, these are like 100, yeah, well, it's 199 now. They call it the Gen 2, so Cobalt is also doing the Gen 2. And these are the 80 volt, 140 miles, and at seven, up to 75 minutes of runtime, but obviously that's probably at its lowest speed or setting there. But 199 and then get the 40 for 149 and I think the 20 volt you get a four amp hour battery and it's $99 but you know pretty good entry again I would go with the Ryobi 40 volt line it's I mean who you don't know what's going on with cobalt with uh, Lowe's anymore so it's kind of Ryobi 40 volt it was 129 when it was on sale and you got a four amp hour battery um, I don't know what size battery this includes. We're going to start seeing a lot of fall stuff here. All right, I got that up. So, and it only comes with a three amp hour battery. All right. And it's, you know, if that Ryobi goes on sale again, I would jump on it. Right now, it's basically the same price as this one, but I'd still go with the Ryobi. You get a four amp hour battery instead of, and you got much more CFM. This is only 480, the Ryobi 600. All right, or not 600, it's it's like five something. I was thinking of the DeWalt, but it's definitely more than 480. All right, so there's a lot of stuff here. I'm getting ready, obviously, for leaf season. Uh, they got a nice thing of, um, oh, look at this guy. Yeah, but people spend a lot of money on the on the decorations here, you know, the um, the Halloween decorations. I just don't get it. It's something like you have to do every year because everything you buy pretty much lasts a year, right? And then it's pretty much gone. Now I'm gonna go down here only because now we know about some of these um, the wall uh, Peters. I did a video on an um, older electric unit. Uh, these are some propane units, but they also have a 20 volt um, forced air heater. They usually carry them at Home Depot. Yeah, here's the 20 volt right here, 148 bucks. All right, 68,000 BTU DeWalt, uh, one, 148. If you're gonna spend 148, I would probably get that other heater that they have um, because with you know obviously with this one you know you got got to use propane here 
all right so you can't really use this in a um, indoor application all right if anyone's interested I will find that heater I forget what it's called it came out last year but so there is some other options we know what Ryobi has one rigid has one um, but yeah, we're at 4K here. Oh, well, this guy's got a skeleton. He's taking them. He's throwing them right in the garbage. I bet. All right, let's let's calm down. All right. Um. I just want to see. All right, they got a craftsman here. 349. We got some um, belts and stuff. Again, they already have the snow blowers out. Here's their 20 volt, oh no, 60 volt, 20 inch. I have their 80 volt green works, not bad. Uh, this one, I tell you, this one looks like it's a little beast, but $600. All right, this is where you really have to use common sense. All right, now, listen, the, 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 the Ego is pretty much the same price. I think they have two different options, and you could buy a bare tool either, also. But, you know, $600 here. Right, six ninety nine here. So for a hundred dollars more, you're gonna have a much more capable um, blower, All right? But if you need something small, you don't, you know, these things work great. You just gotta be smart with them. These single stage, you know, they're very light, very easy to use. Um, you know, once you get six inches, if you're getting like a twenty inch storm, you gotta go out there when it's like six, eight inches. Go out again when there's like six to eight inches and then you know with these you could wait till the storm's over and not have an issue but and here's a, a 60 volt uh, greenworks for 239 all right so it was usually 399 it's 299 again the self-propelled craftsmen were at that you know 220 I've seen it from 199 to 250 all right for the self-propelled here's a some electric um, yeah here's the v60 I don't know your craftsman yeah, 118 so they're all sold out I'm sure you can probably get this model if you want and it's a good way to get another battery um, Blower wise, you know, the mowers have been sold out here for a while. All right, what's that's a gas? Yeah, they're out of the V60, I believe. I oh, know, here's the V60, it's $130 for the V60. All right, and you get the smaller battery to 2.5, you get 600 CFM. All right. 110 miles per hour so very much like the dewalt dewalt has more miles per hour though so it'll give you 600 cfm i think 125 is the max with the uh, dewalt but they still got a couple here you know the tra here's uh, actually what it looks like it, they tie these up i mean you can't even get at them what is this one this one's all busted I mean, here's the 20 volt for 169 you know 169 for the 20 volt but they're giving away the 60 volt for 130 so I, I i still have a feeling that these are gone the v60 you know some people said they talk to people and this and that and you know listen i said it doesn't make sense i don't think i've ever seen a platform i mean and they came out with a complete platform guys they had a mower a trimmer a hedge trimmer a blower so they had the four major tools for an outdoor platform and to and they and they're pretty good you know the batteries are, are really amazing and the runtime with some of these are now if this is anything like the dewalt the run times you know not going to be that good especially with a 2.5 i don't know but to end the platform after one year yeah it does sound a little weird right but um who knows we're gonna have to see i i just never seen this much discounting i mean just major now 
cobalt as a two green works we've seen so it kind of makes you wonder all right maybe you know it's either lowe's is doing really bad with getting moving this stuff or craftsman is like all right get get this stuff out of here we're gonna you know come out with it you know i heard something about an 80 volt platform they might be getting rid of this coming out with an 80 volt we're gonna have to see i don't really know here's the 60 so you can get the um green works here for 135 so there's some really good deals on trimmer you know this is the time guys they still want 229 here for the cobalt but this is 118 again um all you have here is the store unit but and yeah they were all here and they're all gone all right so let's just move on all right if you're not gonna all right let's go look at some stuff and you know we're in 4k yes um so we're gonna have some fun it's dead as usual here at your local lowe's yeah, maybe you have some different Lowe's people in the store. It's possible. All right, 179 for the metric tool set. Guys, we've seen some Husky deals that are going on at Depot. $99, $89. Again, Instagram, these pictures are put up daily on some of these deals. Um, you get a blade here for $598, 24 tooth. I mean, not bad, five bucks. These are just still so expensive, guys. 24 bucks. You know, you can go get a 13. I mean, this is a 21 piece titanium. But, you know, we've seen the Milwaukee. I think right now they have a 19 piece, right? Or is it a 15 piece? Maybe it's a 15 piece for 19.99. But we know that those better deals are coming. I mean, here's 30 bucks for an 85 piece. Here's um, 250 lumen like. What are these? Three. I mean, 349 guys for this. You can get a rigid brushless impact wrench, impact driver, drill driver, and angle grinder for 279. Okay. So, but they are lowering. Trying to get rid of here's a hundred and five piece mechanics tool set one nineteen to seventy nine bucks, but we we've seen a lot more uh, better deals going on. All right, and you know I'm just you know this is for you guys, so you kind of know. All right, listen, because you can listen to me and say oh, I don't care. And most people, you know, listen. I like Craftsman. I'm getting them. If I have to pay an extra twenty bucks, I'm doing it. So this is just to give the person who's maybe in between just a little bit of, of some price knowledge. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. $99. Uh, great way to get a 4 amp hour battery and a charger. And you get a blower that does pretty well. 410 and 100. So it's more powerful than that DeWalt that is a really popular blower. And I like it a lot. You know, they're 20 volt. I think they're going to come out with a new one next year, but we'll have to wait and see. But, um, yeah, and here's uh, a brushless impact for 99 bucks you know you get some speed settings it's tough to beat this you know like i said this is 99 right you're gonna have the option of a milwaukee a dewalt and a makita also for 99 dollars. all right but remember this one has speed settings if you want a selector all right if that doesn't mean much to you then you know So yeah, we we're in 4K and we got some Duracell. Yeah, a lot of people were yeah. I don't know the why that guy had the dog and uh, a lot of comments about the dog. Yeah, it was definitely infested and it was sniffing. Uh, we got a Giants. They're selling Giants. Lowe's signed a huge contract with the NFL, and eventually you're going to start seeing a lot of this. I mean, you're starting to see a lot of it here. Now, again, this is just a regular $3 bucket that low sells for 3 bucks. Now, this has a New York on it, so I let, let's see how much that they... Yeah, $8, all right? So you are going to pay double the price for a New York little logo on your 
five gallon bucket. All right, so 798. They're loaded here. You come over here, and these are three dollars and twenty-five cents. So you can get two of these for the price of your Giants one. And you know you could buy a sticker, a Giant sticker, and stick it on there. All right. You understand? All right. Here are some Craftsman total package. I mean, this is a great price, guys. And this is where they kind of have a little bit of a, a more equal with um, Home Depot's with a lot of this these storage, um, storage cabinets and chests and all that. Okay. I mean, this for seven seventy eight is a is a pretty darn good deal. They have this great little cabinet that's a hundred dollars, guys. It's a little cabinet you hang up. I don't think they sell it at this one. This is, you know, this is around, you know, 400 bucks. So, not bad. And then they got these real cheap ones. 89 plus one. You don't want the black ones. That's like their 1000 series. And there's a lot of channel lock stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at this, guys. This cobalt, three hundred and twenty-nine dollars uh, for the two-drawer workbench. So you got this nice little, you got the pegboard. And I guess there's a light. Oh, you got two two hooks here. I guess this is a light, or maybe you can even, you know, stick some lights. Looks like you got some stainless steel there. You got two drawers. Okay. Two drawers and this nice underneath compartment here. I mean, it's a show. I hope they have the... Yeah, all right, so they're all here. Yeah, because this is like the floor model. I mean, for $329, it's a little small. It doesn't tell you. Right? It tells you, yeah, 45-inch. Really, it doesn't look like no 45-inch, but maybe it is. Uh, you got this nice wood top. You got some more pegboard here. I like this. This is nice, guys. For $329, man. Impressed. They still got these guys. They, they had to take them down. <laughs> they can't get rid of these. Now, I don't know what the price is, guys, but if this is $99 now, we're going to get one, and we're going to ship one out to the winner. I have to say, because we know these are down to $149, but they finally took them. They had them up on this thing over there, and they said, no one's buying this. So get, get it down. Take it down. And it's a shame, because Steve and Federer really loves this. He's really enjoying it. Um, it's 84 pounds. I'll tell you, I like this little chair here. I don't think they have it hooked up right. But um, how much is the chair? I think it was like 69 bucks. You know, it's just, it's, um, it's sometimes it's a little rough, you know. But um, a lot of buckets. Yeah, let's go over here. All right, now, for some reason, yeah, I don't know. You know how much that um, cobalt 141-piece tool cart is? I couldn't find any price on it. Oh, 149? Okay. Think it'll go down any more than that? I really couldn't say. Yeah, it's a good deal, I know. Yeah, I really couldn't say if they're gonna do anything more with it. Hard to say. It's hard to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thanks boss. Okay, I appreciate it. No Alright guys, that's $149, okay? Oh, here's a Craftsman. 
box beam level. And these are, you know, these are very much like the DeWalt. So, obviously the same. It's probably a 24 inch here. Not bad. And they got the Johnsons here. Really loving the Kesson. Kesson's also orange, but we're gonna have some more stuff on that. There's the crust. So 149, guys, I got three of them, I'm telling you. I'm gonna come in here one day and they're gonna be either $99 or $129. This store just can't move them. The, the guy was like, yeah, they had them hanging up over here. No, now, now they have that thing. All right, so I'm gonna show you, all right? So, yeah, they had them up here. This is it now for 179. All right, this is down to 169. So this has been dropping, I, I still don't, you know, it's a three tool combo, brushed. We just saw the Milwaukee, their new 12 volt brushless with the um, pack out box with the insert, it's 199, all right? You're getting a circular saw here, but, and this is $30 cheaper, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm just, and you can fit this, that's what they're probably trying to show. I'll tell you, for 179, not bad, but you gotta remember guys, that, that US General, as low as $169, okay? Um, tough to beat that. But this does have um, one, two, three. This has five drawers also. It just looks, it doesn't look well made, guys. It looks pretty chintzy, to be honest with you. All right, $79. Wow, look at this, guys. Craftsman drill drill. Oh, I thought that was the combo. $149. Yeah, it's like this, every place is lows that I've been to have been, I mean, I want $449 for this. I mean, it's a nice kit. There's eight tools in here. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think for the people in the tool community, right, I don't think they're ever going to buy this Craftsman stuff. I just think they are so aware of what it is. And again, the Craftsman stuff's not bad. But, you know, if you're in the tool community, you, you follow a lot of these tools, right? Common sense. And, and you kind of know they're really just brushed the wall, old DeWalt's. You know, they're really just porter cable, right? Now, we saw some good deals on the porter cable. Um, here's an 18-gauge Brad Nailer for 179 And it's got a nice little look to it here. Here's your 16 gauge finish now or for 249, but you can't even get the DeWalt for you know just about the same price when they're kind of on sale. Um, here's their uh, extreme. All right, a lot of the extreme is uh, th this extreme stuff is selling. Um, yes. Now, they, they just restocked, so they got the drill. A lot of the drill driver, there's a, not as much impact wrench. Again, for $99, we're going to do more on the impact wrench. All right, uh, probably in the next couple days, we'll get some more. Um, I like it, guys. Again, for $99, you're getting two batteries with this. You know, not really meant for lug nuts. All right, I'm going to say that with a grain of salt. Obviously, if you have a passenger car, you'll be fine. Um, once you get into the the bigger SUVs and trucks, it can kind of do it, but you, you're really putting it at a, its max. And there's obviously some better impacts for that. But again, something that's lightweight. Um, you know, it's not the Milwaukee um, stubby, right? Where you got 250 foot pounds. Um, here's the miter. Now, like I said, they might say it has 200. Oh, this might be new. I've never seen this before. They still want $99 for a 6 amp hour battery, you know? 12. I love these cases, guys. The Cobalt make some of the best cases I've ever used. Um, their bits are a little shady, but, you know, don't work for the most part. And here's that, that charger. Um, we're moving around Craftsman here. You know, same stuff. Again, they really only have two brushless tools, right? Um, actually, three, right? Impact, hammer, drill, and you got your drill driver. Now, are they going to come out with some more? 
you know, a brushless impact wrench, a brushless recip, a brushless angle grinder, circular saw, I don't know. Um, but 139 for their brushless impact, you know, not bad. You gotta remember, it's basically the seven, the eight, eight, seven to a degree, right? You got your little three speed selector, um, you know, nice lightweight impact for 139. You got your speed, you get two batteries with it. It's not, you know, it's not a bad deal, you know. Uh, the the DeWalt, the Milwaukee Makita are going to be coming out, right? It's going to be forty dollars cheaper, right? And I don't know what they're doing. Every year it seems to be getting better, right? They kind of update. Uh, I don't know if maybe they offer a three amp hour battery with the Milwaukee, right? Maybe a compact three for ninety nine. See, that would be the cat's meow. I don't know, but you're going to pay forty dollars less. But remember, you're not going to have that selector. A lot of people want selectors now with their impacts. I bought one of these for three dollars. That was pretty. Yeah, two ninety eight. Yeah. Um, you know they want sixty nine dollars for this battery. I did a deal, the four amp hour battery, twenty three dollars. If you can find any of these Brad nailers, guys, they're going for super cheap, but they're probably all sold out. All right, if you can find one in the store, I have this. Is this the six and a quarter? It's a cool little $50 circular, super lightweight. You know, we're going to be a little bit limited once you get into some higher applications, but it works. You know, they have a sander. They have a full, I would, you know, I was so happy and so were a lot of you guys, right, when these brushless porter cables came out. Because there's something about porter cable that, I'm telling you, if they came out with brushless tools, I think people would buy them. I don't feel that with the craftsman. And you can tell me if I'm wrong, you know, give me your opinion, put it below. But if I, I think this is where they should be investing in. I said it f four years ago. You know, I thought when they bought craftsman, it was a great opportunity to kind of, all right, you got your DeWalt, your real supreme. But turn Porter Cable into a rigid, right? And then you got craftsman as a Ryobi. That's what they should do. I don't know why. I mean, it's not brain surgery. $89 here. Here's some more stuff. You know, a lot of um, of the same stuff. Here's your 887. I don't know how much they want for that. 249 for your combo. Um, here's the big deal here is the impact combo kits. We'll get back to that. Yeah, here's everything. Again, the impact wrench is, is it's not bad guys you know i think of it as you know it's very compact it's small skinnier than the stubby right a little bit longer but not much to be honest with you but um just you know you can when you feel this you know this ain't doing 200 foot pounds all right now it says it is and with a smaller fastener a smaller bolt a smaller lug nut maybe you can get close to that but if you're doing lug nuts, and I hear it, and this thing is, oh my God. This is probably one of the best tools in this platform, is this screwdriver. People love these guys. Um, they are really, really awesome. You know, they're kind of part drill driver, part impact. And this thing is super light. And I, I've heard a couple people comment, and uh, they have really liked this. So, again, 99 bucks. I mean, if you can honestly spend $400, right? One, two, three, four. Right? You spend 400 bucks. You'll have eight batteries. All right? Now, this is their three. This is the biggest one you can get right now. I like this little DeWalt plate here. Uh, 59 bucks. It's not bad. I think you'll be able to get it cheaper at some point. But that's your biggest battery. That's kind of like... But let's give them some time. You know, Makita's biggest is a four, right? Bosch's is a six, and M Milwaukee is a six. Um, here's what Bosch has kind of turned to. I don't know what happened to that. How you doing? Oh, there's Mr. Hey, how you doing? I'm Tool Boss. Tool Boss? Yeah. Nice how you doing? Place. Nice to meet you. You know, we, two, you go by Mr. Boss or Mr. Tool? Uh, I like Mr. Tool. Boss. <laughs> Boss sounds like Mr. Tool. It's not, not that appetizing. 
Yeah, it's funny. I was just talking about it. I know you had that big display. Oh, it's still over there with the 8-amp-hour battery. Yes. Um, you guys make some of the best batteries yeah. in, the, in the business. It's... Um, What's going on with your 12 volt line? It seems kind of like it's, it's shrinking. It is shrinking. You know, it's going to homeowners. You know, I mean. Yeah, that's what a lot of people have been saying on Instagram. Like, what, what's going on with Bosch? Do you mind me asking you? There's nothing going on except we just, you know, I mean, we just retooled the battery, so we came out with this eight. Right, the 21700 so cells you know, that are in them. Exactly. So it's it's more power in a smaller package. That's the same size as our old six. Right. And our four is the same size as our old two. Yes. You're getting twice as much power, and you know, with half the weight. You don't and you break your wrist when it tore. Yeah. Oh, and uh, more power. That's what yeah. it's all about with the twenty-one seven hundreds. Right. Are you going to be coming out with a kind of like a rapid charge or two with these batteries, kind of like that Milwaukee has? You know. No. No. Uh, not nothing. that I know of. They haven't said anything to us about it. I mean, they charge up in a half an hour or to an hour and a half. Right. Know how how drained they are. Right. You know, you can get about an eighty percent charge in a half an hour. With the with the four. With either. Yeah. Oh wow. Even so, with the eight, well, that, well that's with not the bad. eight, you probably it's probably probably closer you to an hour. Figure to closer to an hour because it's literally you're putting gas back in a bigger tank. Right, and they're also coming out with like a twelve, right? Someday. Someday, yeah. They just did the eight, you know, and that's pretty massive. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so your twelve volt is basically going to it's the not homeowner. Going away, but like if you notice, it used to be in the yes. same bay as this, I and looked, now it's over there. And it's real you small. Know, it's forgot, you know, like. I mean, honestly, for me, 12 volt gets me through 90% of the Oh, absolutely. Volt. I know, say it all the I'm time. driving lag volts or, yep. you know, or unless it's a lot, yep. you know, where I need, because there's only a two amp hour battery. And right. And they go faster if you're using them a lot. Right. So, you know, unless you're, you know, cranking, then it's lighter, it's smaller, you can get into smaller spaces, you know. Right, right, like we right. we got that flexi click with the multiple. Oh, heads. yeah, yes. That's great for cabinetry. Oh, guys. my God. Yes. You know, so a lot of guys that, you know, like... Milwaukee well, kind of just stole every, you know, that whole thing. Did you see it? No. Milwaukee has basically the same yeah, exact well, tool now. You know, listen, Fine had it for a long time. It yes. cost 600 bucks. Yes. So, you know, we have it and it costs $200. Yes. So, you know. Yep. Um, you know, Milwaukee's good. I mean, it's not. You know, yeah, yeah. No, no. We, but, it's, it's not, you know, obviously, you know, the big thing with Bosch. And the, I see some stores have the new Freak in it. Some Lowe's. The Freak 2. The 1800, yeah. 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 And this this well, one doesn't... We, and we got... Well, the brushless one you're talking about. Yes. Yes, and it's at a 149. Oh, they do have it here. Okay, well, it's if not... If you notice, the old one is... They took it off sale at 149. Oh. So, like, nobody's buying those. Amazon had some killer I'm deals sure. on them. Well, I mean, we were selling them at 99. They were on sale. And now I, I probably have... You can get them on Amazon for 89 or 79. Now, my question is... With the 12 volt, are you adding any more new tools, or it's kind of like not that I know. Of. Not okay, so they're kind of just you know they haven't said anything's coming, so, right? You know, like what I know is like say that flexi click they were talking about making an 18 version of that. Oh wow, yes, you know? that was pretty much their last tool they released. Was that it well? Seems since like. we came out with the freak, is really pretty much as far as 12 goes. Yeah, 12 yes, volt. The freak is, yep. I mean the uh, flexi click. Flexi click, is, yeah, is the smallest. Yeah, I mean is the most recent. Um, yeah, you're probably talking about, you know, now, like, moving on to 18s. So, right. You know. It just, Bosch was, you know, I, I, I tell people how big Bosch was, like, five, six, seven years ago, and to kind of what it is now. Now, you know, it's, it's all marketing. You know, like, Milwaukee just spends so much, and they're just releasing so much stuff. But, you know, you go to the World of, uh, the world of Concrete in Vegas, mm -hmm. and Bosch has a huge presence yeah. there. So... Well, we just came out with an eight, you know, we came out with the, the, the Bulldog. Yes, the Bulldog. And it's phenomenal. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to pull one out and demo one in a little bit. Oh, are you? If you want to see it. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see that. It's actually more powerful than the deported one. Oh, really? Yeah. No People kidding. People don't believe me. Is that the same one that you have? on? Yeah, oh, no 249. Kidding. With the 8 amp hour. 249. Comes with a 4 and 8. No, well, no. Well, yes, you can get a free 8, or right. you can get the free dust collector. The free dust two. collector, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've only seen one guy take the battery. Everyone really? Yeah, the dust collector. collector is the way to do it. Because you get a 4 with it. Yeah, you, know? you get two fours, two chargers. Oh, two fours. Well, with no, with the you, with each one. So you right. get a four with it with the with the the bulldog. You get a four with the dust collector. Oh, you get a four. With and the... you get a charger with both. So you get two two. So like, yeah, yeah. People would awesome. rather have that than you know. Honestly, people aren't saying, "Ooh, I want the eight because a lot of guys don't want it. Yeah, it's the, the weight. Drill. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know where I keep my. Eight? Yes. On here, right. on here. The vacuum. You know, there or you know a yep. jigsaw things that you're not like holding the vacuum right. exactly. The vacuum. You know? You have no plans of coming out with an outdoor power line in I the wish. States. I so wish. Right? They do it in Europe. They I know. Don't. I know. Totally different. And I wish we would do it. But, you know, I mean, 
I mean, we, I've, I've got 40 volt husk of Arna stuff. Right. I love it. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And I'd love to have another set of, you know, just to see how it compares. Right, right. Um, I think they can do it with these. These new 21700 cells are, I mean, yeah. it's turning, you can do some great things with outdoor power. People ask me all the time, hey, Bosch coming out, you know, they got it in Europe. Right. A lot of people buy it on eBay. Yeah. And they, and they get it sent here. Yeah. But they, um, get a, they just get the little converter plug. Right. That's yeah. what they do. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check that out. I'd like to let, yeah. Well, how long until you do that? What? You're going to demo that? Uh, uh, next hour or so. Okay. I'll, be, I'll have something out there. You know, I'm just going to grab a table and. Uh, oh, you're doing I your thing. i got to buy my plumbing oh, okay. and supplies. And <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, bud. Nice this to meet you. This is for home. Oh, that's. <laughs> how you doing? All right, thanks, Matt. Nice, nice Mr. Tool. Yes, uh, the other way. Mr. Boss is the way. Yeah. So just Tool. Boss. Yo, tool. How you doing? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't like that. All right. Thank you, Matt. All right. So um, hopefully you got some good information there. Didn't get too much, you know. Obviously, the, the gentleman works for Bosch. But you are seeing smaller, um, smaller bays of the 12 volt stuff and he really doesn't know of any new stuff coming out in that 12 volt all right um it looks like they got some new kits they've put together all right um i mean you heard him say it. i don't know if he kind of slipped but i don't remember what it was about but they're starting to go to the homeowner right now we know with sds with a lot of stuff they still are a pretty popular brand when it comes to concrete stuff, right? SDS, drills, you know, um, obviously their jigsaws are what they're really known for also. But, um, I mean, look at all this yellow down here. I mean, I could be honest with you. This, you get a, a hammer drill and that new freak, all right, 1,800 inch pounds. You get the bag and you get two fours. I would like to know, see here's the old, this is, this is a brushed kit for $249, I don't see that there, I, I don't know what the price is going to be on that, I don't actually see it, wait is this it for $289, for $289, yeah this is it, alright, um, it was $371, yeah, see, that's uh, yeah, this is it. And it was, I mean, you get two fours and you get two brushless, a hammer drill, and they're hammer. I, I, I like Bosch's. I, I know, uh, yeah, it's, it's tough here. Here's their brushed little set, right? 149. And I would probably still get this over the rigid, even though it's brushed, um, because you got that freak, right? You get, and what's this one? That's just that. Yeah, I mean, some of these kits, this is, um, yeah, this is the brushed one, all right? But you still get two fours with the, with the brushed freak. And here's kind of their big one, but this is like old two amp hour battery. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this kits, but, you know, yeah, brushed, and you get that connect ready thing that they're, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, how popular it is, but, they need to get a, a kit where they have the the impact, the brushed, brushless a hammer drill, a resip, a circular. They need a complete kit. They always have these little kits. And um, I don't know. All right, we know about a lot of the Hitachi stuff. It's going to be moving over to Metabo, right? And I, I've been really impressed with the price of some of these batteries. And this one is 119 but I've seen this as low as $99. Now this one's 99, so I don't know what the difference is. There's absolutely no difference, so it is 99. So I don't, I don't know what's going on here. But $99, guys, for an eight amp hour battery. Um, and it's a four in the 36 and an eight in the 18. I mean, we're gonna see with the Metabo what's going on. And I, I don't, I, I think Hitachi is basically gonna be, it's gone, right? Now, it could be wrong. From what I remember, I think Hitachi is being turned into Hakoya. Hakoi. And the Hitachi is going to be moved to Metabo type of a thing. Um, 
but I could be wrong about that. This, this was like a, a, probably two years ago that they kind of, or maybe a little bit, not as long as that, but yeah, $79 for the new core. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get some footage of the new bulldog there for you guys. $34, guys. I mean, this is the same, basically the same set. All right, you get, looks, no, you do get it. Perfect, guys. All right, this is $15 at Home Depot, okay? But it's not called the Flex Torque. It's called the Max Max Fit. Same exact 50 piece with the removable storage, okay? They want $35 for it here. So 15, it, it's more than double. So this is what you have to know. And uh, you know that's why I, it's unbelievable. It's not half. Half would be seventeen dollars. It's fourteen ninety nine at Home Depot for the same exact set. Okay. Now you might not get two three inch, all right, but you get the small bits. You get the really. I think you get you get less two inch here. You only get five two inch bits with this for thirty. This is thirty five dollars, guys. Thirty five dollars, and you get four two inch bits. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy, craziness. All right, let's just check out the um, the wall here, okay? Let's just check this out, see if there's anything new, and then we're gonna get ready for the the Bosch stuff. But 99 for the 885. Here's this is a good price too. Extreme. What's that, bud? Drill some holes. Oh yeah, yeah, excellent. All right, guys, I'm gonna separate these videos. All right, so we'll catch you on the flip. We kind of covered everything at Lowe's here. All right. We'll be right back.